Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the Climb Inferno jacket and pants available at Revzilla.com. So for 2015, Climb has updated their lightest mid-layer, the Inferno. You're going to see a redesign that's really going to focus on comfort as well as less drag when you're wearing this underneath an exterior jacket. Now, Bernie to my left-hand side is going to be 6 foot 3. 210 pounds with a 42 inch chest, and we have him in a large. This is gonna be spot on for climb size charts, so just keep that in mind when you're figuring out your sizing. Now, as far as sizes go, it's gonna range from small to 3XL, and we're gonna see Bernie in the blue option right now. There's also gonna be a black and a gray version as well. Now, as far as climb is concerned, this is gonna be their lightest mid layer. So if you want something warmer than this, you're gonna to wanna to step up to the Everest. If you wanna go down to just a regular base layer, check out the Aggressor. As far as the Inferno is concerned, really the biggest upgrade that we're gonna see is the overall comfort of the material. Now, it's still gonna be that combination polyester, fleece, and spandex. So it's gonna be a nice stretchy material meant to really fit the body. And one of the things you're gonna notice is with this redesign, it's gonna be much smoother to the touch. It's gonna to allow the jacket that you're wearing over top of it simply to move freer when you're in the riding motions, when you're throwing yourself around. Bernie, go ahead and hand me your cuff for a second. So one of the things that I wanna point out, it's really easy to see it on the cuff, is that they've redesigned a lot of the seams with this particular jacket. It's just gonna to add to improved comfort because there's less bulk and less noticeable feel because they've really svelted down the overall seams in this particular piece, and they've gotten rid of a lot of the seams. One of the other things you're gonna notice is with the zippers on this, they've redesigned the pocket. They've gone with smaller zipper pulls. Again, YKK zips, but they've really done a great job of eliminating the bulk because you don't want that for a mid-layer. It just leads to discomfort. The other thing you're gonna see here is with the pockets on this, they've really done a nice job of svelting out the pockets, just hiding them almost. You can barely see that they're even there. And again, very small YKK zipper inside with a very, very small zipper pull. Again, this isn't something you're gonna be using regularly as far as putting your hands in, so you don't need to worry about having a big zipper pull to pull down on there. What you want is you want that smaller pull just so you don't have the bulk underneath your jacket. We're gonna maybe turn face away and just throw your hand up in the rider position for me. And one of the things you're gonna notice here is they've eliminated all outside seams. And again, they've gone to one really clean design. And again, it's just gonna be more comfortable for you. You're not gonna have any of that bulk that we saw with this predecessor. Bernie, you can throw your hand down, face backwards for me. The first thing you're gonna notice with the back of this, there's really a lack of branding on this. There's gonna be one small climb logo over on the far side, but that's about it. You're gonna also notice they've redesigned the seams up top the same way we've been talking about throughout this entire jacket. They've gotten rid of the cross seams over the shoulder and they've gone with the traditional just straight seam across and the rest of this is gonna be a nice clean piece. Tall collar to this, gonna fit up nicely underneath your helmet and it's gonna do a great job of keeping any air from pushing up underneath your helmet which would make you colder. The whole point of a mid-layer is to make you warmer and they've done a really nice job with that particular collar piece. Bernie, I'm gonna turn around face away or face forward for me and just go ahead and unzip that. Again, YKK zips through this and just hold that right side open. You're gonna see they're gonna have the fleece inside. And again, it's that spandex fleece hybrid that we're talking about. A little bit of mesh in here for comfort. And one of the things you're gonna notice is there's a zipper or there's, a, there's an elasticated pull at the waist so you can kind of cinch this down to fit your body type. And that's gonna take us right into the pants. You notice the pants on this have the elasticated top as well, just for added comfort. And one of the things you're gonna see is they've done the same thing with the pants as we've seen with the jacket, just really kind of smoothed out the seams. And it's really noticeable right at the top pocket for your hand warmers. They've gone with a really small pleat to that, so there's no big added bulk. Bernie, you can go ahead and zip that up for me. Now again, like we talked about in the beginning, when you're thinking about mid-layers, it's really the kind of warmth you're looking for and the kind of riding you're doing. With this particular Inferno jacket, it's that lightweight mid-layer. If you want something more aggressive, check out the Everest. If you want something lighter, get down into a base layer like the Aggressor. There's a lot of folks out there rocking climb gear. If you want to hear more about what they have to say, do me a favor and click the info button. Read what other riders are digging about the climb setups they're rocking in their closets. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Get us on the phone. Give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at ribzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Climb Inferno jacket and pants. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.